Alright, now let's actually fight Gemini Man. Unless he kills us seven times. Then I would start crying. Because, I mean, that would be just embarrassing. I don't know. The only problem I have with Mega Man Triple I is that... The stages really, so far, aren't that much different than their NES counterparts. I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking that because Gemini Man's is that way. Oh, yeah. But anyways, Gemini Man stage is fucking... It's not that different. The only difference is the... Okay, never mind, it's a little different. Hell yes. I like that. Oh, by the way, charge shots are good. By the way, I watched a tribute to Phil Hartman, and no lie, I got teary-eyed. I'm not fucking joking either. I'm sorry. That's, I don't want to bring anybody down, so instead I'll talk about, like, Jews or something. No, I don't know. That would really bring people down. Um, these, these fish, I, I do want to shoot them to get some power-ups and stuff, but if you use a charge shot... You'll fucking wipe out a bunch of eggs at once. But that E-Tank is probably the first one I could actually get. So I will! Alright. And if you charge shot, it doesn't even let the fucking stupid fish come out. You just get them. Take them out. Take them down. Tearing up the underground. You should want to live like a super villain. Back in in line now, before your time's up. You want to live like a super villain. Okay. Excellent. Uh, yes, I got the room. And speaking of the room, you know, that's a good movie because it's really bad. But, you know, I think we need the Nostalgia Critic to tell us why it's a bad movie, right? Right? Because, you know, I don't have an enough... Like, I don't have opinions about things. I need him to tell me why the movie where the, one of the main pieces of drama is YOU ARE TEARING ME APART, LISA! is supposed to be dramatic. Like, seriously? Honestly, there's nothing funny that he can say. There's nothing he can say that will make that movie funny. Oh, and much funnier than that, it, though, is um, the acting in the room is a lot better than the acting in Kick-Ass, yeah, so maybe he can go fuck himself. I'm not just defending the room, either. I'm just saying the Nostalgia Critic isn't funny. Like, I've, I have not liked him for quite some time. And I'm not even trying to be, like, all internet cool dude. I'm just saying the Nostalgia Critic is not funny at all. It's really bland, fucking garbage jokes. And, again, I probably shouldn't fucking tell people why I- what of this isn't funny. Because I'm doing things that I hope people think are kind of funny, and I know that they're not. But, I don't know. Someone who does think- I don't know, fuck it. I don't like this other Greg. If you do, that's not very good. You should- can, you, you can, though. I WANT THAT HELP! I CAN'T GET IT! Sorry. I just... I missed Phil Hartman. I'm not actually crying, that was my intense acting abilities. Okay, fuck, just kill me. Just, just kill me. I don't know what to do. I will always remember Phil Hartman as Troy McClure, I promise. Gemini Man... dead. GOOD! Time to go on. But wait a minute. There were four stages, and then there was a castle in the last two games, so I wonder what there will be in this game. Wow! 
formulaic as ever, Capcom. Oh, sorry, I was just yawning because I saw the plot twist coming a hundred miles away. It's not really a plot twist, it's just situational. I could go on for hours about the Nostalgia Critic, and since this is a really simple level, maybe I will. Um, he thinks that he appears to think that screaming is funny. Oh, and I have Spark Shock ready. He appears to think that just yelling a joke makes it a joke, I guess. Giant Susie? I don't think so, Capcom. This is just... Oh, I hate it when it bounces on the ceiling, because it kind of shakes the ground. Makes it kind of hard to judge where to slide. But he takes a lot of health when he hits you, and he moves faster the more damage he has done to him, so be careful. No, uh, golly. Goodness gracious, this- oh goodness- no! Oh god! Oh my god, okay, okay, okay! <sighs> Whew! Alright, now I wonder what we do next. Ah, some classics from four. Uh, Skull Man sounds good to me. Time to crucify him. I will say, well, my complaint earlier was about like getting hit by big rubber balls. I don't know. I think the Mega Man 4 stages in Mega Man Triple I are less like their counterparts on the NES. I don't know. But maybe that's just me. I could entirely be wrong. They're less like their counterparts on NES than the games, than the bosses from uh, Mega Man 3's were. I guess. That's still good, like, it's still challenging. If you want really fucking different from their levels, try Mega Man IV, but we'll talk about that when it's relevant. If you want really... well, never mind. That's... I'm not even gonna spoil that one. Cause, I mean, like, I doubt anyone... Like, honestly, I... I wonder how many people are actually, like, watching these and have never seen the Game Boy games played. I don't know, that's, that'd be interesting. If you have or have not seen the Game Boy games, tell me. Like, I want to know people's reactions. Like, maybe you're either watching this saying, Oh, cool, these are neat games. Andy. Or you're watching this saying, like, Wow, this guy sucks dick. But only at playing. Like, I don't literally suck dick, presumably. You, you could also be saying that. That's on YouTube. Now, should I try and get that E-Tank? Probably not. Oh well. Maybe I'll get other ones, unless I don't. Where the Why would they have an empty room? Okay, I'm assuming that room is where you come if you die. And now th I don't know why, but this level seems really fucking long. Like, I don't know, it's probably just because the last couple of levels are like three minutes max. Oh, 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 shield attacker. If only you were positioned in a slightly more advantageous spot, you wouldn't have died. You, I remember you. Get out of here. At least there's no fucking garbage from Mega Man 4 and, or 5, sorry. But th this is garbage from Mega Man 4, in fact. Ironical, huh? No, not at all. And those barriers back there, like the one housing in that, uh, energy weapon, weapon energy, you may say, that is, um, if I'm not mistaken, they are breaking by the drill bomb. I don't have it, so, guess I'm fucked. Oh well. God damn it. Oh, goodness. I was too close. Now, I forget, I think those guys can only be killed with a charge shot, but the guys that look just like them from Crystal Man stage don't need a charge shot, but it just makes it easier. 
Oh well. No one gives a fuck about Crystal Man stuff. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about glowing bones. It's pretty cool, dog. Alright, fine. Just come on, just there. Get out of my face. Alright. I'm probably gonna die to Drill Man, because I don't know. Or er, Skull Man, sorry, I was thinking this. This bones weren't enough of a uh, fucking giveaway. God damn you, Skull Man. I thought he was gonna run. Well, let's try some weapons. Okay, Spark Shock ain't it. Gem Gemini Laser? Wait, no, Dust Man. Dust Man's in this, so I'm assuming that's his weakness, but I'll try. Hopefully, these weapons will do something to him. Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay, I think the only. Yeah, the only one we haven't tried is Shadow Blade. Gemini Laser did a little extra damage, but it's not worth it because it's shitty. Come on. Eh, I'll stick with Shadow Blade. Couldn't hurt. Well, it could if I fuck it up. I'm still remembering how easy Woodman was. Like, why didn't they make more barriers like his where you can shoot fucking right through them? Crying out loud. Come on. Come on, Skull Man. Enough. Need to mistake you for Drill Man again. Alright. Okay, okay. I think the... The health is getting a little too low, so I'll stick with charge shots. Oh, you bastard. Just stop it, Skullman. You're being retarded. Now and you're fucking dead. Like Phil Hartman. You cunt. Your fault! Sorry. I'm getting too emotional. But we, we will cut it off for today. I have to take some naps or some shit. Catch you later.